Hey team, right, I'm gonna take you through some stretches now that help release the knee and keep the pressure off the knee. So we've looked at some of the, some of the rolling exercises you can do to, to keep the tension off the knee. We now wanna look at doing some stuff to lengthen, lengthen the muscles around the knee as well. So position Jess is in here at the moment, we've got her in the, the frog position. So she's got her knees out nice and wide. She's slowly sinking the hips back, so she should feel, Jess, yep. on the inside of the thigh. Yeah. Just get you to spin side on actually, Jess, so you can, the, the viewers can see you side on as well. Good. Nice. Now again here, you can hold for a minimum 30 seconds. I'm actually going to say minimum minute, because 30 seconds isn't, isn't going to cut it. So you're going to hold for minimum of a minute and anything up to, up to four minutes. Okay, now here you can, again as you're in position, just make sure you're focusing on the breath. The longer the breath and the control of the breathing becomes now, the better. So in through the nose for ideally a count of somewhere between four and eight seconds, and then out through the nose for a count of somewhere between, between six and 10 seconds. Okay, you'll be able to build that up as you get more comfortable as well. So that's gonna to help to open up, relax the groin, the groin as well. From there, Jess is just gonna come up into a down dog position. Now this is an alternative for opening up the calf, as well as many other areas in the body as well, but opening up the calf. Now a couple of options here. You can see Jess has got good position with the head between the shoulders. She's nice and long through the spine with the hips high. She's got the heels driven into the floor. And you feel up with the back of the legs, Jess? Yeah. yeah. Now she can change the position of her hands depending on where she wants to feel it. Either bring them closer in, further out. You want mild tension, not pain. Okay, but a great stretch for opening up that area as well. Right, from there, Jess is going to come down onto her back. You got the band there, Jess? Yep. And here you're going to look at the hammies. Good. Now again, depending on your range of motions, it can depend on how far you can pull the band in. Straighten that other leg out as comfortable, Jess. That's it, good. Now you want to get mild tension. You don't want to be pulling so that you're putting too much pressure through your, through your body. Now what I'm going to get Jess to do now is as she pulls in, just pull slightly across towards me, Jess. Feel that a little bit more yep. through it down the outside? Yep. So that'll start to get more into a bicep femoris as well. And again, start to lengthen and release those muscles. Again, holding minimum a minute. And you can start to hold this anything up to a few minutes as well. Control that breath as well, exactly as Jess is doing. And obviously, same both sides. Good job. Right, jump up. And let's just release, see if we can release that hip area, get some movement through the TFL and ITB. So as Jess moves now, you can see she's got the front leg soft, she's straight through the back leg, she's pushed that hip out, so we're looking to open up this area through here. You got that Jess? Yeah. And again, hold in, no need to hold quite as long with this one, just because you're in a standing position. It'll be tough to hold, but ideally, again, minimum of around a minute. Focus on the breath and opening that area up. And again, obviously both sides, so you're not walking around with a limp. All right, guys and girls, enjoy.